What a joy, again, we were on that. Yesterday we were at the East Bank, today we were at the West Bank. We had a wonderful time. Look at the incredible way we're celebrating this carnival season. And really, this is the Diversity and Inclusion Board um, being taking it to the next level. We're programming in the year. We want to encourage our, our employees to join the Diversity and Inclusion Board. Today, we celebrate Black History Month. And what an incredible way to learn about um, black history and the importance of that at this time and at the carnival season than to have the Zulu tramps join us. So we want to thank you for being here. Um, I, was, I was honored to learn about your history yesterday. Uh, diversity and inclusion is about learning about the history of this incredible brew of people we have in our country, certainly in our parish. Um, our employee workforce is a very diverse workforce. We represent the community that we live in with the people we have and we want to celebrate our differences and know that we're one common people with incredible and beautiful differences like you see right here that that really add the richness to our community so we want to thank you I want to give a shout out to Dr. Zimmerman because today is her birthday um, what a great way to celebrate your birthday huh I mean can you make it any better than this um, but we want to thank our board we look forward to an incredible year coming up, right, guys, and planning it, and they already have the next events coming. Um, and their leader, Aileen Bernard, we want to introduce her um, to come up and say a, words about, a few words about the board. So with Aileen, I want to also recognize our um, Councilman Ricky Templet. Ms. Councilman Templet, do you want to say? Yes, absolutely. And wow, I, I just want to say I want to echo the parish president's words. What a great day we're having here in Jefferson Parish. Well, we're celebrating diversity and Mardi Gras at the same time, and it's just a great feeling to have a little taste of both uh, today. I'm going to tell you, Zulu has been part of most of all of our history, uh, you know, from watching Mardi Gras and, and uh, downtown New Orleans and enjoying every year of it. Is it always represented diversity, always. Uh, I'm going to tell you a small story. In 2005, uh, my wife and I were king and queen of Grella, uh, king of Mardi Gras here on the West Bank, and we had our ball at a hotel downtown New Orleans. At the same hotel, Zulu was having their event. They invited us in our court to their ball, and it was just one of the best times and memories I've ever had in my life. And I want to say thank you for y'all being part of our community and being here in Jefferson Parish and celebrating diversity and Mardi Gras on the same day. And thank y'all, and hopefully a happy Mardi Gras to y'all. All right, Ricky. So probably about a year ago, we went with Aileen and members of the board, and we had grand plans for the year, introducing more programming. And I have to say, last year, things just changed. We had a lot of to deal with with coronavirus. And as we come to this January, we're going to say all those things that we weren't able to do last year, we're making sure we do this year. Um, the passion that Aileen has had for this board for quite a long time, the Diversity and Inclusion Board's been around since 2009, um, really is why 
we're going to really program it well. And the enthusiasm on this board and all her board members, she's going to introduce them. We look forward to an incredible year. But Aileen, you've always been passionate about it. And um, I know you're so proud of today because I could see the pride that you have. You can see the joy that she has. Yes. And that's, that's a representation of the board here. So uh, Aileen Bernard. Okay, I have to catch my breath. Give right. me just a minute. Ah, having fun again. It's great. It's great. Okay. Mask off. Mask off. Mask on. Okay. Well, welcome everyone. Madam President, Councilman Templet, thank you very much. Thank you for supporting us, for your continued support. Um, I'd also like to thank Dr. Zimmerman, also wish her a happy birthday from our board, Miss uh, Donnie Lewis, who is our uh, co-chairman, woman, excuse me. Um, we have a great team, we really do. Uh, I love my board. Um, I want to thank Anthony Francis, my director, uh, for believing in me to select me to be on the board, and uh, here I am six years later and ready to rock and roll and bring it to the next level. I uh, gave a speech yesterday uh, telling you about diversity, inclusion. Diversity is the human variety, our differences, that we should all celebrate. Uh, inclusion is embracing all of our differences. We may not all agree, especially in a state of the world that we're in. We may not all agree. Ask questions. Have conversations. Find common ground. Don't scream at each other. Just talk. Have conversations. You just might learn something you might find out and figure out what makes a human being tick. You never know. It is important to give the employees, Jefferson Parish work, workforce, a voice by creating an inclusive culture regardless of age, gender, ethnicity, religious beliefs, or sexual orientation. I printed mine out a little bit bigger so I could see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Every initiative and action undertaking to address and improve diversity and inclusion and equity. Equity and equality are different. Let's remember that as employees. We'll go over that later on as we teach y'all and educate you further into the future. It's a step towards uplifting and enriching our work environment and benefits our Jefferson Parish employees and the citizens that we serve. The Diversity and Inclusion Board strives to ensure that human respect is realized by ensuring that our family here in Jefferson Parish, that we all feel valued, we feel seen, we feel appreciated. We strive as a board, as our leadership, we strive to reach all 3,000 of us, our Jefferson Parish employee family. That's how I feel about all of us. We'll be coming to your department soon. <laughs> Our 3,000 employees and family and beyond. We strive to help, serve, and advise in an absolute best and fair way possible. The board was established to foster an environment where it, we take a deliberate focus on acceptance, education, and inclusion of diversity within Jefferson Parish as a whole. We must listen, empathize, kindness, kindness, because kindness, we may find solutions and common ground. February is Black History Month, a time to celebrate the role of African Americans in US history. Their fight for equality motivates us to continue working towards a more positive parish, more positive as individuals, more accepting, more inclusive. 
we need to learn how to love each other. Doesn't matter, we're all pink and red on the inside. <laughs> the Jefferson Parish Inclusion, Diversity and Inclusion Board has decided it was fitting to honor Black History Month with a special presentation and performance from the Zulu Tramps of the Zulu Social Aid and Pleasure Club. And it is my honor to introduce, to introduce the Zulu Tramps. And they will share a little bit more about their rich history and culture of their group. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Aileen Bernard and the Diversity Inclusion Board of Jefferson Parish. Uh, Zulu Associated and Pleasure Club, we're honored to be here. We're honored you invited us here for your Black History Celebration. Um, we also want to thank and acknowledge uh, Dr. Vanessa Zimmerman and wish her happy birthday uh, again. And we want to uh, acknowledge Yudonis Donnie Lewis and, and thank, thank her also for inviting us to participate. Um, and of course, we're honored to be sitting here with uh, two of your esteemed uh, elected officials, uh, the parish president, Cynthia Lee Shing, uh, here uh, to my right, and we have Councilman Ricky Templet also to my right. And so we're glad. I want to make sure before I get lo lose my train of thought, I give you official oh, Zulu wow. Tramp B. Wonderful. Wow. Get the Zulu Tramp B. I love it. I love it. That's the official Tramp B that we started last year. And we have a Zulu coconut for Councilman Ricky Templet. Zulu and I'm going to talk a little bit about that when I give you the history of the organization. Uh, Zulu was founded in 1909. Uh, the, it was an organization, a group of men called the Tramps, which are, you see represented here today. Uh, these guys got together. They went to see a play in downtown New Orleans at the Pythian Theater. And uh, the play was, it was produced by a, a group called the Smart Set. And in the play, it was musical, and they saw, they were looking at, Zulu Warriors in the musical, and there was a performance that said, there never was and never will be a king like me. And from that play, these guys went back to their headquarters in a back room on a, at a building at the 1100 block of Perdido Street in downtown New Orleans. And they decided to organize, and they called themselves the Tramps. At that time, there were Mardi Gras crews throughout New Orleans. Uh, it was not allowed for African Americans to participate in Mardi Gras, and they decided to parade themselves in African-American neighborhoods in the various wards of the city. Um, we have, unlike other crews, we don't call ourselves Bacchus Crew or Endymion Crew. We call ourselves the Zulu Associating Pleasure Club. At that time, there were benevolent associations throughout the black community, and they would pool their money together, their dues together, to bury, bury their loved ones or take care of the sick. And they, they formed and they were called the Social Aid and Pleasure Clubs. And so we take that name because that's where that's what we identified from. Uh, we, are, we are a full-time uh, full community service uh, organization, Social Aid and Pleasure Club, and we participate in Mardi Gras. So you rarely hear the crew of Zulu from us. You hear it from the media, but you hear Zulu Social Aid and Pleasure Club from us. Uh, so, and I think that's important for you to understand our history. Uh, we incorporated in, with 22 men in 1916. Uh, our first king was William Story. And again, a lot of people don't understand, but we, you know, these were poor laborers. They didn't have money to afford masks. They wore grass skirts. They decided to, because they couldn't afford masks, to take uh, black face paint and, and paint their faces. And they, they painted white eyes. And, you know, it was one of those situations where this thing was an evolution of the Zulu Association Pleasure Club. Um, and t today, that's what you see on these gentlemen, black faces and white eyes. That's our, our, our mask. Uh, our first king uh, had a, a, a lard can as his crown and a banana scepter as his, his a banana, banana stalk as his scepter. So we, there was an evolution. We, we, had, we had our first float with four guys walking next to him. Uh, and that's, that's the creation of the Zulu Parade. And that organization also, that group also went through African-American neighborhoods until it was okay to, to go on St. Charles Avenue and Canal Street. And now we, 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 lead, we start our parade in African-American neighborhoods. 
We, lead, we go through the CBD down St. Charles, the canal. We wind up back at the Zulu Associated Pleasure Club home on Orleans and, and Broad. So that's the history of Zulu, our signature throw that we, we, show, we gave to uh, Councilman Ricky Templet. It was a coconut. These, these guys uh, w went out to the French market at the time and got coconuts, and that's what they gave out. That's what they could afford. And over time, we began to shave them and decorate them and take the milk out of them, and that's our signature throw, and it's probably the most looked after throw during the carnival season. So we want to share a little bit of our history, which you see represented here today with the band, the brass band, One Mind Brass Band, and these, these gentlemen here, I want to name, want to name, we have um, Maurice Lightfoot to my right, with the purple, purple, green, and gold. We have, we have James, we call him the Ref Ross. His, <laughs> we have Thomas Hollywood Pierce here. <laughs> And we have Charles C.J. Metley, we call him Bam Bam. So we all have, that, that, that's, that's, the sick, that's our Zulu tramps here represented today. These guys lead the parade off, okay? We hype up the crowd. Our job is to walk and hype up the crowd because we're right in front of the king's float. So we want everyone to know that the king of Zulu is coming. And that's, that, that's, that's, that's our motto and that's what we do. We perform in the streets and we walk the whole route and giving out coconuts and beads, but we make sure that everyone knows that the Zulu king is coming. Hail Zulu. Hail Zulu. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, ma'am. We love this. Happy Mardi Gras, everyone. Mardi Gras. Thank you.